we are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. For this flight, it's time to head home. Hello, I'm Trey Borland. I'm here from Dallas. You talked a lot about the challenges in getting to Mars and, uh, you know, the spacecraft that will actually carry the humans there. Uh, but when do you actually plan to execute the launch with humans to Mars? How long will it take? And when they're there, what is the objective, uh, the main objective of them being there? And when will they return? Frankly, there are technologies that we haven't in actually invented yet that we're going to need to get there. So.